folks, welcome back to another vlog. It is raining in San Diego, we are lost, we don't know what to do, and it's freezing cold, it's like 60 degrees, so parka time. Um, yeah, you definitely don't wanna be on the roads today. It's wet out there. All right, so here's a quick shop tour, what's going on in the shop today. We've got uh, Alpha over here, uh, came in for a bunch of work. Oh, so this is pretty cool, this is a uh, six-speed Alpha. We took the five-speed Alpha, Tranny, which is the Allison 1000 Tranny, and converted it over to a six-speed Allison transmission, which is still an Allison 1000 Tranny, um, which is primarily a valve body as well as a uh, new ECM inside here. So here's a quick look at the Alpha. As you can see, that engine is packed in there. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Definitely, definitely really tight, but cool truck. Yeah, I don't even know what to think about this roof rack. Uh, I think this one came in and we had to change out the hardware on it. It was uh, rusting out, but different design. This mount right here, that looks like a super hard Scotch-Brite pad that's the rubber pad. Often copied, never duplicated. It's like a search and rescue knockoff roof rack. But it's like, it save a few bucks, but you're missing some parts here. Coming over here, you see we got a two-door, two-door truck over here. This is extended cab, this is pretty cool. This extended cab is a must. They actually have the standard cab which comes up right about here. There's literally no room for you at all. So if you're looking at a two-door truck, get the extended cab. It gives you a lot more room. You can actually get in there. Um, I'm almost six foot and it's, this truck is, is pretty comfortable for me. But the standard cab isn't, I, I wouldn't pick up that truck. It's just too tight. Well, uh, you do lose like, eight inches of bed space but uh not that important for me considering my comfort's a little bit more important um over here we've got a uh, conversion going on doing all kinds of upgrades to it uh eyelar arm pitman arm uh centering the diff we've got a diff centering kit going in place here and then uh, which is kind of cool so one thing we haven't talked about on some of the past vlogs is the uh differential is centered on the rear it's offset in the front and the reason for that is to get the drive shafts to line up properly to get it across um, up there without any vibration however with a little bit of work you can get it to to get it centered up the advantage with centering up your differential is you have equal half shake half shafts all the way around right now you have equal half shafts in the rear of the truck but not in the front you have one long half shaft on the front passenger side and one short one on the front uh, driver's side. The problem with that is off-road conditions. Um, you're going out on the trail, you wanna keep some spares with you. That's an issue because you're gonna have to carry three half shafts, one for the rear and one for each side of the front. So with the disc centering kit, it makes a big difference because you only really have to carry one half shaft. Um, in case you do break a half shaft, you're fully covered. Yeah, that's kind of a nice little kit and a little background. If you are hitting the trail, I definitely recommend bringing half shafts because they do fail from time to time. Um, and unfortunately, you got to bring three unless you have the diff centering kit. So here's a uh, body up in the air. Uh, this is common for the conversion process. We'll actually split the body off. It gives us um, ample room to pull out the engine, transmission, transfer case. Uh, not necessary, you can get away without doing it that way, but it's just a better way to go because then you can get to the rest of the truck and do it properly. It also is a little bit more work to do it that way. And as you can see behind me, there you go. That's what we're working with. So we have full exposure to everything on the top of the, the frame there and chassis. So it makes a big difference for the, the final fit and finish of the truck. Um, coming over here, this is another truck of Mel's. We're wrapping up a bunch of stuff on. Uh, you did some custom uh, rims and tires with us, custom paint work or powder coating, so we're waiting on that to get finished up. Jared, what's going on here? Um, I know this truck is an older truck. It was a 6.2, converted over to the 6.5 turbo diesel, and so it came in here um, overheating, right? Correct, yeah, it was overheating. Uh, long story short, the water pump was turning the wrong way, so now we have to, we've had to take all the accessories off the front from a different motor and put them on this one to convert it to a serpentine belt because it was uh, V-band before, like a V-drive. 
So now it's gonna spin the opposite way, which is the correct way. Right. Um, but now you're dealing with the coolant line. Coolant line, yeah. Now over to, to the radiator. The throttle cable and come over here. Should have just bought a Duramax in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your lesson. Do the Duramax, get it done right, and then you won't have any of these problems. I'm still stuck with the 6.5 turbo diesel. The problem too is that like the amount of time that Jared's gonna spend on this thing um, is gonna be crazy just fixing it, getting it back operational. I mean, what do we have into this thing so far? Probably a week or so? At least, yeah. At least that. Yeah, probably the same amount of time could have had a Duramax inversion put in there, so. But uh, yeah, we'll get it all done. It'll be wrapped up pretty soon. Uh, you can see how it doesn't align, line up correctly. Uh, we'll also have to, you know, miss the throttle, miss all this stuff, miss the uh, AC. Oh yeah, so it's, it's got to come up and throttle. over. Nope. So he kept he kept the original throttle in there as opposed to going to electronic throttle. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, just more stuff to kind of hodgepodge it together and make it work. But also look at the corrosion on this guy. Mm -hmm. And that's after I cleaned it. Yeah. Needs a little more work. Hopefully not another week or so. Hopefully we get this done pretty soon. How long do you think until we're done? I'm, I, my goal is to have it running today, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because of this. So, but tomorrow for sure. We do, Randy. This is fun. You having fun? Oh yeah. Check this out. Oh look at that. That's flowing through ventilation right there. Under <laughs> John. Yeah, Josh only thought he was done making those side boxes. Oh poor Josh. <laughs> They're coming in. But pretty cool little compartments right in here. Yeah. Locked little boxes. Yeah. And, uh, we'll try to sell some more for you, okay? Then salt. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the outside uh, how, perspective. How do I say that I live for this stuff? <laughs> you love it, man. It's not that bad and stuff. That box is just heavier than heck. Yeah, it is it's pretty just, bulletproof, huh? I mean, yeah, you can. <laughs> goes right in there. The whole thing just opens up like that. Yep. Both sides. Yep. Oh, Cheeto, check this out, dude. Hey, what's up? Check this baby out. We got this down in TJ for uh, for Sanderson. Hmm. I think he's gonna dig it. Let's go ahead and uh, hook it up. Hey, you know what? Since, uh, did you hear about Jason? No. Oh, dude, he's out. What, out what? He's out sick. What's that? He's got a tummy ache. Take a pill for that. Yeah, take Midol maybe. Mm. Jason, get yourself some Midol and uh, get back to work or else you're being replaced. Cheeto, here you go. Mm. Here's the camera. All right, ready to do this? Yeah. Dude, look at that, dude. You're a natural, Cheeto. All right, so check this out, guys. We got <laughs> we got his chair right here. Replacing it with this guy. Oh my God, this thing's so much smaller too. Dude. <laughs> He's gonna love it. Um, oh, you know what, too? Let's see. Let's drop his desk down too. We'll do like a little baby desk for him. And then, oh. all right, I think we're good. Um, that's probably the right size for him. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna disable his desk. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna take the power cord out. All right, done. So uh, I think he's gonna love it. But you know what too? Just to make sure that he doesn't get his chair back, let's go ahead and get rid of this chair. All right, Sanderson, this is for you, buddy. This is just so you don't go back to this, this chair because this is an old ratty chair. You don't want this, buddy. You wanna definitely wanna be uh, forced to uh, use a new one. So. Go ahead and dismember this thing. Right. I think, 
I think that about covers you. Yeah, I think you did. All right, so uh, no going back, buddy. All right, so uh, Sanderson just pulled up. Let's see. What's, uh, What's up, dude? What you doing? How you doing? Good. Good. How you doing? Oh, nice. What's going on here? It's your new chair, bro. Oh, sweet. We got you a little something from TJ. Is that like to? Is that ottoman for my feet? <laughs> no, that, that's for <laughs> you, dude. That's, it? that's for nice. you to sit down in. I like it. It's good. You hooked up. Yeah, check it out too. We got the horse on there too, because you like horses. And I do. Oh, look at your boots too. You there got you go. Like horse. It'll work. Or the tire. Horse, wow. What do they call horse boy boots? Horse boy. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Farm boy. Really? I don't know how to approach it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how this goes down. I don't know. Does it, if you sit on it that way, it's, it's not. dude, I don't know. Maybe side saddle. I don't know. I imagine it's to cup. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, my. oh it's cracking. It's creaking. It's cracking. Oh, we're I don't know. Hopefully, you can hear that. But that thing is like making some weird sounds right now. It's good. Good. How's that desk? Uh, I'm scared to move. <laughs> I want to raise it, but I'm scared to move. Uh, need a long stick. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> it's, going. it's going. I think it's going, folks. <laughs> go. It's about to go. Is it going? Should, oh, dude, this thing's probably going to throw out like a bunch of shrapnel at me. I should probably watch <laughs> out. I can't get it. Oh, it's good. It's bad. I'm abort. <laughs> I'm abort. You're done. Things awesome. Yeah. Quality. Craftsmanship. It it's is. just held together by chains. Or like no, eyelets? Yeah. yeah, like a little screw in there. Wow. That's probably that cracking sound that we yeah, heard. Oh, look at it. No, it's actually splitting right there. Hmm. That's it, good. Let's see how long it takes until it cracks and like breaks apart. Have at it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. I give it a cut. I've got to eat lunch right now, so probably after lunch, I would imagine it's probably failing. <laughs> wow. Look at this. That's awesome. It's actually quite comfortable. It is. It's not Have bad. You uh, yeah, spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> I bet. No, I haven't. <laughs> wow, very cool. It's my style, though. It is, I especially do. with the, the horse boy boots. Oh, the horse boy boots? Horse. They kind of go yeah. hand in hand, don't they? Look at that. Done. See what happens? You go to work, go get the referee smog check, come back, you get presents. I know, look at I that. I like it. It's because we love you. Can we do a timeout? I don't know. No. First things first, you got to have cut off sleeves. You got to be showing your arms. Even if there's snow in the mountain behind you and stuff, you still got to be showing. Your ah. Tinder.com, check me out. <laughs> oh my god.